So here's the latest project, TL1000. I swapped it for my XT600 that I had. And I got this all in bits and I've been slowly putting it together and getting it running. Um, I finally got it to switch on, I put a new fuel pump in it and new solenoid and lots of little bits and pieces. I've got a lower fairing for it that I need to fix up and paint it up obviously. A few things I need to do, get a new back tyre and look what someone's done to the exhaust. Don't know why people do this but I've got to deal with this now. So stay tuned, I've got an idea of how I'm going to fix it. I'll just give it a little start up so you can see what it sounds like. Fuel pump's working. So I can't actually get it to rev up properly. I think it might have a problem with the injectors or something like that. So I'm going to run some injector cleaner through it after I get a new tank of gas. But I've got to sort this out. It's, uh, it's no good, eh? Muppets that did that. Okay, so I've got this sort of set up. I know this looks weird. It's a, uh, it's a TIG, TIG handpiece with a 2.5 welding rod stuck in the end. And I set the machine up just like I'm going to TIG weld. So you get the high frequency start and that with a button. And what I'm going to do is turn the amps up real high and see if I can blow away all this nasty stuff in here so I can weld a plate back in. So let me try and set the camera up. So it's all set up to do TIG welding. I just uh, crank the amps up. Full power probably. Let's see how she goes. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's wasting away all that bad stuff so I can get back to the uh, straight bit of metal pipe and uh, maybe put something over top of it. So that seemed to work pretty good actually. I tried a stainless steel rod, didn't work as well. A mild steel rod, low hydrogen rod, uh, seemed to cut it all back. It's pretty hard to see, it's dark, but we'll have another go tomorrow. So I've welded this all in here now. Uh, I had to use the stick welder because the uh, gas, the TIG was all out of gas. Looks pretty horrendous, but the cap goes over it anyway. So there's the muffler tip finished off. But uh, this one here's got a smaller pipe inside, so I might have to change that to match this one. I got it to run a bit better, but it was still bogging out, and I think it's something to do with this thing here. I don't know if I've got this plumbed up right. One hose goes to that thing, then the other hose goes around to a vacuum flap that's inside the uh, airbox. So if any of you TL guys know if that's right, please leave a comment about it. Oh well, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.